found a couple things um, this week that I just thought were super cute, really, really super cute. And I thought, oh gosh, I could really do a fun little spring makeover on these items. The first one, y'all, is this little wood tray. Okay. It's this little wood tray. I found it at Hobby Lobby. Um, all of their, this type of surfaces and stuff were all on sale. Um, so I just thought it was really nice. I like the size of it. It's not too big. It's not too small. Um, let me give you the actual dimensions on it here. Whoop. Let's see if I can get that for you. So it's about 11 and a half inches. Perfect. Like it's a really nice size. Uh, again, not too big, not too small. And I think I've told y'all this before, but I really enjoy doing um, like container decorating. All right. And even uh, even though you may not consider a tray a container, it really kind of is because then you can just decorate within that tray and then have that tray wherever you want to in your home. Right. If it's on the table, it's easy to move if you need to move it out of the way or things like that. So I like little creating little kind of vignettes um, that are kind of contained right? I think it looks really good. You can do different levels, you know, different things, but I really like this size, really like this size. I love that it's just the raw wood and it's just kind of this black metal um, option. I thought really hard, I thought really hard about painting the metal and then I decided not to and I'm going to tell you why, okay? Because also while I was out and about this week, I found something at the dollar store, Okay. Um, specifically Dollar Tree. All right. Um, my Dollar Tree, I always, I always feel like I get gypped because I see people post things from their Dollar Trees all the time. And I'm like, I never find anything at my Dollar Tree. <laughs> I don't know if they all have different things or what, but I was pleasantly surprised when I went into my Dollar Tree and found this super cute truck. Look at this cute little metal truck here. Look how cute this is. It's a little metal truck. It's again, not too big, not too small. Whoops. Look how cute it is, how it fits so nicely on this little tray. It's really super cute, y'all. So the Dollar Tree had this for $5, but I looked at my receipt because they're taking dollars off of spring and Easter right now. And so it wound up, they had taken a dollar off of this. So it was $4 was four dollars to get this really cute it's metal okay metal this really cute little metal truck i just thought it was adorable now the carrot um obviously has a feel of easter i guess it could still be spring but here's what sold me on the truck okay the carrot doesn't have to stay in there look 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 there's a little twisty there's a little twist tie right here so watch i can just untwist this I can untwist this and boom, I don't have to have a carrot. I don't have to have the carrot. Isn't that cute? So here's why I love this. And I think I'm actually going to go back and get some more because how cute would it be to have a spring truck, a summer truck, a fall truck, a Christmas truck? Like, I just think they're really cute and you cannot beat this price. Like this price is just such a good price. I need to get some wipes and clean that out. It's a little dusty. Okay. So what do you think about it? You have this truck and you haven't used it yet? <laughs> I was just, I was so happy because like I said, I usually don't find any cool things at Dollar Tree that just, I mean, I see everybody else finds things all the time at their dollar stores. But anyway, so $5 was the regular price. Um, but it's, it, they charged me $4 because I guess they're taking off discounts dollars off of spring and Easter. Okay. Hello everybody. But look how cute it fits on the tray. Like it's so cute on this tray, right? You see how cute that is? So now I can put other things in the back of the truck. I can put things maybe around it and it just gives me a really cute little spring vignette. Okay. Now, if you wanted this to look really Easter, you could definitely make it look very, very Easter. I'm choosing to go spring because spring, um, even though all I have to do is throw a few little eggs on here and it's going to look Easter. All I have to do is put the little, the little bottle brush carrot back in the truck and it's going to feel a little bit more like Easter, right? But for my decorating part of it, I'm going to keep it more spring because I want it to be transitional. 
right? I want to be able to transition it so it can stay out longer. And um, yeah, I think it's going to be great. There is a Dollar Tree Plus. I didn't know that. Maybe that's my problem. I mean, I don't have a plus. <laughs> I don't know. I always struggle. <laughs> I should have gotten more before I told everyone. You're absolutely right, Cheryl. <laughs> You guys just leave three of them out there for me um, or even just two, you know, that'd be okay. But I do think for that price, it's just so cute. And again, it's, I like that it's not too big. Sometimes, you know, you'll see things I feel like are a little too small and then sometimes things a little too big. So we're going to start on the tray though. Do y'all like the tray? Y'all pretty much anything can be a tray. Okay. Anything can become a tray, any kind of wood sign. I mean, I know this has handles, but you, you can add your own handles, right? Like anything that's any kind of a sign. I have this here because um, I was kind of even, I think this is really cute. This one right here, this came from Hobby Lobby. This would be really cute. You could use something like this. So for the concept of this whole um, container type decorating, you know, where you're just decorating within that one surface, um, gosh, there's all kinds of things you could use. You could even use a mirror. You could use a frame. There's just so many different things. It doesn't necessarily have to be a handled tray. Okay. Yeah. I got the tray at Hobby Lobby on sale. I know it's cute, right? I just really like, again, I like the size of it. It's not heavy. It's just a nice, I don't know. I like the size. So this is what I'm going to be putting on this because again, this is going to be a spring makeover spring makeover. So I'm actually going to use this napkin. Now this napkin actually had a pretty scallop on it, which I loved. I did love the scallop, but the scallop won't quite fit within my tray. So what I'm doing, don't worry, that scallop's going to get used. I'm going to use it in a different way. Okay. So what I wound up doing is just laying the napkin into the tray and then going around. Um, you can do it with like your, your fingernail. You can do it with the end of a paintbrush. But just going around and kind of creating um, that little press line, little pressed line, a, a crease, uh, if you will. Can you kind of see that little crease right there? It may be hard to show up on camera, um, but there's a crease there. And then I'm just taking my scissors and I'm cutting along that crease line. Okay. Super easy. I had already started on it just so I had it. Now I've got this cute scallop left, right? I've got this really cute little scallop left. So I'm going to have to decide how can I use this scallop because I don't like leaving any scraps behind. <laughs> I don't want to leave any scraps behind. So let's just look here. If I wanted to, I could put this cute little scallop on the outside edge, right? Now, because it's curved, I'll have to cut it about probably every three or four scallops just to make sure that it all goes on straight. But I could put it along the edge here if I wanted to. Okay. Oh, this was the other reason why I didn't paint it. I'm leaving it dark because the truck is already white and I kind of like the, the dark against the white right? I kind of like the, the dark against the white instead of painting everything white. And I think the napkin kind of pops a little better too with it being dark, right? So I'm okay with leaving that part dark. So the other thought that I had for the scallop, okay, you all ready? The other thought I had for the scallop was putting it on the truck because we're going to alter the truck here too. But look how cute. Look, what if I do a little scallop banner? on the truck. Like how cute is that? I can have that run all the way around, right? This cute little scallop on the back of the spring, spring truck. Okay. Isn't that cute? So that's kind of what I'm leaning towards doing. I'm thinking about doing that. So the other thing um, I'm going to be using today are the printables. Um, I was in a printable parade not long ago. I don't know if you saw it uh, with Wilshire Collections. She does these awesome printables. And so uh, I printed them onto a piece of tissue paper. So I'm going to be using this just like a napkin. But there's some really cute ones here. Farm Fresh Flowers. I thought that could be really cute on the truck. Spring has sprung. So I've got several options here um, that I think would be really darling, right? Like on the truck. <laughs> so 
One of my favorite things about napkin art, y'all, is just the fact that I can change up so many things, right? I'm kind of a, how can I say this? I'm, I'm a junker. I'm a thrifter. I'm the person that's going to check the clearance aisle before I go check anything else. Um, I love to just find things and kind of refresh them and give them new life. And napkins are so versatile, y'all. Napkins are a great way to do that. So whether it's something old or something ordinary, you just want to spruce it up. Um, that is like something I just absolutely love to do. Okay. Um, and so that's kind of what we're doing today. We're just having fun, right? Just going to have fun with napkins. Yeah. Won't that be cute on the track, Tracy? I think so too. Yes. What kind of printer do I use? Brenda, I just have an inkjet printer. I don't have a fancy laser printer. I want one. I want one really bad. <laughs> but I don't have one. So I have to use my inkjet. And then what I do is I iron it. So after I, after it prints out and it dries, um, I actually use my hot iron, my craft iron, and I heat set the ink on the tissue paper. Okay. And that just, that helps to, to heat set it. Um, and that's how I kind of get around, you know, being, that's how I manage to be able to print things. Sorry, I'm trying to separate this napkin. Uh, be able to print things with my inkjet printer and still decoupage it. Okay. All right. So this napkin is a three ply, but it looks like I'm living right because I got both plies off at the same time. That doesn't always happen. And there we go. So I'm not going to paint this tray at all. I just decided I'm not going to paint it. Um, if I did paint it white, it would be much more crisp and, and all the things, but I really kind of like the wood grain. And because this is already this kind of soft pink, okay, this kind of, it's got a, like kind of a soft pink color to it. I think it's going to look fine with the wood grain showing through it. Okay. So this is where I'm going to start. And it was super easy. Again, just put my napkin in, just literally just pressed around the edge to get that little um, crease. And that's what I cut by. Okay. You could reduce the size of the printables to fit the door. I could. Yes, I could. <laughs> There's so many things that you can do with printables like that. Um, and that's something uh, you'll see as going forward in the um, napkin club. Because sometimes there are napkins that I'm like, oh my gosh, this napkin would be perfect if we, if we had this little saying to put inside of it. So I'm going to start doing some of that for my napkin club members. We're going to start when, it, when we're creating a project. If I feel like it needs something, I'm just going to create something. Um, and then we'll just share that with our napkin club members. And that way everybody can have it when we create, you know. So I think it's going to be great. Because you can't always find, you know, just the right saying on napkins. You know, sometimes they have weird sayings and I have to skip over them. <laughs> but it is fun to kind of put in. Um, our own. So I'm going to go ahead and get started here. I am just using Mod Podge Matte. That is my preferred anytime I'm using wood. Okay. Anytime I'm using wood. So I'm going to start by just uh, putting half of this down. Okay. It's a big piece, right? I mean, it's, it's, well, it's not a big piece. It's not super big. But sometimes it can be tricky trying to layer down one whole piece. So sometimes I just put down half at one time and then the other half. So you want to put on a healthy coat. It needs to make sure it looks white and it looks wet. And don't worry if you get Mod Podge around the sides here. We'll be able to just clean that up with a like a baby wipe or something. Want you to worry about that. Make sure you haven't missed any spots. And here we go. I'm going to just kind of lay it down so I can maneuver it a little bit. Make sure that I'm okay on this side. Okay, that is looking pretty good. So I've only done half. Okay, I've only done half. I'm going to use my little plastic wrap here to start smoothing. 
just kind of smooth to the outside edge. Ooh, I like the wood grain showing through it. I can tell you that already. I can see it. I hope it's going to show up for you guys. Okay, I'm going to be really careful pulling that off. Very pretty. And now I'm going to lift up this side. This just works better for me than trying to um, do larger pieces all at one time. Okay. You like putting sayings on your project, Stephanie? Yeah, me too. Sometimes, I mean, sometimes it just, I don't know, it just helps to finish something off. But you don't necessarily want to, like, have to do a vinyl stencil. I'll do that for bigger things. Um, but sometimes just something small would be nice to be able to kind of create our own little sayings and signs and things. Okay. And again, don't worry about the mess you might make on the edge of the tray. That will be okay. Okay, perfect. All right, and again, I'm going to start kind of from the center and push out all the way to that edge, all the way to the edge. I have to move my plastic wrap here just a little bit. Oh, I better get another one. That one's really, really wet. There we go. You could use a chip brush if you want to. A chip brush will give you a little more texture. If you like texture, if you want it to be more smooth, then the plastic wrap is going to be the way to go. And um, I'm using a, a deli bakery sheets, but you can use whatever plastic wrap you have in your kitchen. You can even use a baggie if you needed to cut up a baggie or something. But um, I really like using these these deli sheets. They're they're nice. They're convenient. OK, so I'm going to kind of hold this up for you. Can you see the wood grain? I like the wood grain coming through. It makes it look like this tray is, this is, was just kind of printed right onto the wood. It's got a little pinkish kind of color to it because of the pink on, um, on the background of the napkin. And that's going to be cute. So the napkins I'm using are all napkins that have been used in the, in, that have been in bundles in the napkin club at one time or another. And of course, you could use whatever napkins you want to use. So I just want to make sure this is fairly dry before I put a top coat on. I really love how that looks. Very, um, very charming. Very cute. Do I like it? Can you see it? Hopefully you can see it. <laughs> Let me hold it up again. You should be able to see it. See the wood grain? Isn't that awesome? I love seeing the wood grain come through projects if it's a pretty wood grain. <laughs> I think that looks so cute. Isn't that awesome? Okay, so we've got to protect it. We've got to protect it, which means we've got to put um, a thin coat. We're just going to put a thin coat of Mod Podge right on here. It's going to be such a cute little decorative tray. I love it. Now this Mod Podge is going to seal it, but it's also going to help to make our napkin even more clear, more transparent, so that that wood grain is going to show through even more. And uh, this is important to remember. I don't want you to feel like you have to paint everything. Don't always have to paint everything, right? Good morning, Rindy. How are you? Thank you for sprinkling, guys. Thank you for doing that. I can't believe it's the last day of March. Can y'all believe it? Like, it's just this year has already flown by so fast. I just can't believe it. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. It makes you think of a pizza. <laughs> it's like a pizza pan. <laughs> It's about 11 and a half inches. It's a really nice size. Not too big, not too small. I think it's just perfect. I clean up a little bit of my Mod Podge around the edges. There we go. Okay, so it's going to look kind of wet. It's going to be pretty wet, kind of milky looking, but it's going to dry crystal clear. Okay, so I'm going to set this out, out of the way for a minute so it can be drying, and we're going to work on the truck. Okay, I'm ready to work on the truck. Uh, let's see, where should I put it? I'll put it right there. That's a good spot. So what kind of things are y'all going to be doing this weekend? Anybody going to be doing anything special or fun? Hmm? I think my husband and I may be headed to East Texas to visit my mother-in-law. Um, we need to go visit and check on her. So that's where we may be headed. So here's our truck. This is the Dollar Tree truck. Um, it was normally five. They sold it for four dollars because I guess they're clearancing out Easter and spring. Um, in case you just signed on, it had this little carrot in the back. But what I realized, see the two little holes right there? They just had it twist tied on there. So I was able to take it off, which is super cute because now I can put whatever I want to in the back of the truck. OK, I love that it's already white. They did have some pink ones. Um, I saw a pink one and the white one. I went for the white one because immediately, you know me, I'm thinking I could put napkins on that. <laughs> right. So that's exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to going to I wanted to look at this again because I really like the idea of of using maybe these scallops around the edge of the truck, right? It's going to be a cute, cute spring truck. Let's just see what this would look like. And um, I, it looks like it's going to fit about two scallops. Looks like two scallops is going to be perfect. Okay. Do y'all like that? Tell me what you think about that with the scallops on there. Isn't that just cute? It's metal. It's metal. Yes, it's metal. So I like that. I was thinking about putting on maybe some flowers first and then doing this last in case it overlaps a little bit. So, um, or maybe I should put the printables on first. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Okay, so a lot of the napkins I'm using are just like scrap pieces. The, this is why I love to keep the scraps when I'm creating with napkins because they're just great for little things, right? Sometimes you just need a little thing here or there. So look how cute this could be right here along the door. I think that's pretty cute. Let me cut off this. I'm going to kind of cut this around here a little bit. And I, let's see. So it's kind of nice using the edge, right? Because if we use that edge, um, it's nice and it gives me a nice line there to kind of line up with the edge of the truck. Okay, so do you see I could come in here and put that right there on the truck? What do we think? <laughs> I think it'll be so cute. Oh, you have a gender reveal. Oh, how fun. Y'all, I get so, am I the only one, but I get so enamored, like, watching gender reveals like they're not they're not even my people I don't know who they are but like on Instagram or something you know it's like I just and of course when you look at one then then the Instagram wants to show you a million of them but I love watching them I love watching them so that's fun for you congratulations that's going to be a lot of fun for you yep you guys keep your scraps here somebody is going to do a walk is it a walk or a run Oh, a walk. Okay. A 5k walk for childhood cancer. Awesome. Diane should have, I hope you have good weather for it. Oh, Carrie's buying a new car. 
a tree fell on your two cars during the storms in Mississippi. Oh my gosh. Well, that's not a great reason. I mean, I hate that that's why you're having to get a new car, but I'm sorry to hear that. Okay. So I'm going to line this up right with the edge of my truck, right along the edge there. Okay. Right along the edge there. Now I'm going to, I'm going to share a little secret with you guys. Okay. This is kind of a, a trade secret. Um, my favorite Mod Podge to use on a non-porous surfaces. Y'all know what a non-porous surface is, um, which would be like metal, glass, plastic. And I'm using my finger now to kind of go down in these little, there's little grooves here. See those little grooves? I'm using my finger now to kind of go down in those little grooves. Still want to see that part. Um, is not Mod Podge matte. Okay, it's not typically Mod Podge mat. It's going to be fine for this little truck, but if I was doing something bigger or something, you know, something different, I actually would be using the Hard Coat Mod Podge. Hard Coat Mod Podge is my favorite. It's the purple label, Hard Coat. We carry it here at the shop. It is hands down my favorite for metal, glass, plastic, anything non porous. Okay. For this little truck, I'm not going to really, I'm just going to use my Mod Podge mat. It's going to be fine. But if it was something bigger, I would definitely be using um, my hard coat. Okay, look how cute is that? Okay, we'll just kind of work on it, I guess, kind of a, a side maybe at a time. Um, let's go ahead now with this little part here. I do think that having those little scallops on here are really cute. So let me cut this one a little bit better. Slick surfaces. Slick surfaces. Let me bring this down, y'all. You can see a little better. <laughs> Slick surfaces are more like a non-porous surface. This thing's been kind of machine-coated, painted, so I think it's going to be fine. Okay, and I'm not going to put this right at the top rim. I'm actually going to try to line it up right here underneath that little rim. Let's see if it's going to fit. Oh, it's so close. Let me see if I can stretch it down. Oh, no, 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 no. Sticking to my fingers. Okay, poo. It, it tore. Okay. So what are we going to do if that happens? What are you going to do if that happens? Are you just going to give up? No, because we have all these little scallops right here. So we're just going to patch it. We're going to patch it up. Let me see if I can separate this little piece here. That's one another great thing. Napkins are so forgiving. I'll just come in here and do a little patch up. Except for that one is a little thicker. Okay, I think that'll work. And I'll do my pen work here in a little bit. So I just did a little patch up there. <laughs> okay. Now I'm just going to use my, my chip brush for this. That is cute. Okay, let's go around. Let's go this way because I kind of want to let that side dry a little bit before we add anything else. I really want to put something right here. And this is kind of where I was thinking about using one of the printables. So tell me what you think. Do you like that one? Fresh flowers. I thought that one was cute. Spring has sprung. You guys have to help me pick. Bloom and grow. Bloom and grow is cute. Hello spring. These are my favorites. I like hello spring. Bloom and grow. 
spring has sprung or farm fresh flowers. And I could use this, I could cut that apart in places too. What would you use? The truck is from uh, Dollar Tree, y'all. Debbie, it's from Dollar Tree. Got a great deal on it. Y'all have got to go get you some. They're so cute. Hello Spring. I kind of like Hello Spring too. That's cute. And it shows up very well, right? So let's go for Hello Spring. Now these have a little bit of line work on them. Do you see that little pin, almost like a little pin stripe on them? So what I'm going to do is try to kind of, uh, let's see, I'm probably going to cut it right there. I'm going to try to line this up and I'm going to cut it down these lines right here. And we're going to cut it a little shorter here. Okay, that is it, I think, right there. I'm going to have a little bit of an edge here, but I could easily sand that off or just decoupage that down a little bit. Just let me take a little bit more off. Oh my gosh, look how cute that is. Isn't that cute? Okay, let's get our Mod Podge out here. Okay, dokie, here we go. Goodness, that is so cute. <laughs> Isn't it fun? So you can print things onto tissue. Um, we've done it in the napkin club. We've printed photos. We've printed uh, all kinds of things. And so we're going to start doing a little bit more of that in the napkin club because it really does make the projects even more unique. Again, going to take my fingernail kind of down those ridges right there in the truck. You'll see. So cute. Just gonna wrap the sides. And let's peel that off. That is darling. <laughs> that is so cute. Well, I may put some words back here. I don't know. Or back here. I don't know yet, Rita. I'm not sure. I, I forgot about the door. I did say something about the door, didn't I? That is cute, cute, cute. Okay, let's put some bigger flowers, I think, maybe up here. Let's have some bigger flowers maybe kind of going up here and down. I think that looks really cute. Let's put some big flowers up here while that is drying. I don't want to mess with that. I'm not going to put the top coat on. I'm going to let it dry for just a minute. Okay. You guys have to go to Dollar Tree and get you a truck. They're so cute. I wish I would have picked up more now because now I'm telling you to go get them and, the, and then they're all going to be gone. <laughs> I just think making these little seasonal trucks is so fun. But I bet they'll be back. If they're, if they're selling well, I bet they'll be back for other seasons. The reason they consider it Easter is because it had this little carrot in the back, but it just twist ties on so you can take it out. And I think that's what I love about it the most. I can change what I want to put in the back of the truck. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to need all of these leaves. So let me kind of think about this for a minute. I thought the leaf coming down like that is kind of cute or maybe like that. Just trying to think about how to position these. And I don't actually have to keep these two together. Let me just cut them apart. I 
So if all this napkinizing is intriguing you, I want to invite you to come join the napkin club. The doors are about to close. Um, in March, you're able to bypass the wait list. And um, we won't be doing that again until August. So I'd love for you to come join us. I like this little leaf kind of coming down the front here. I think that's really cute. Let's go ahead and let me fussy cut this little this little flower right here a little bit more. I like seeing some of the leaves kind of, okay. All right, I think I know what I'm doing now. <laughs> Thank you, Cheryl, for posting that. So cute. So I don't like straight edges. I mean, the white is going to just kind of blend in with the truck, but I just like to kind of come in to do what I call a loose fussy cut. It's just a, a loose fussy cut here. And I'm actually going to start, I already took the plies off of these. So I'm going to actually start with the yellow because it's the lighter of the two colors. So I can overlap the pink flower on here if I need to. I kind of like the leaves kind of cascading down here on the truck a little bit. So let's do something like this. And I go back to my chip brush. You can use your plastic wrap or your chip brush. Sometimes a chip brush is easier for contoured things like this. We're just giving this, this truck a really cute spring makeover. It's going to be so cute. Okay. I love it. One little wrinkle. There we go. Sometimes you can just ever so smoothly pull out a wrinkle if you get one. And then I like how the leaves kind of go over the edge of the door. Right? Isn't that cute? Okay. So let's, I feel like we should put a little bit of something up here that, that looks, that adds in some color. So let's just find us a little something, a little, little something. I don't want to cut from that one. Here, this one might be good. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Maybe these little yellow flowers right here. I'm just going to have to cut a couple of them. Just put a little color up here. I haven't done my top coat on this yet. Let's go ahead and do it. You'll want to top coat the whole thing anywhere where you napkinize. Cute. Just 
just to add a little color up there, right? Add a little bit of color. Okay, let's turn around. Let's see if that's dry enough. Okay, that's dry enough now. We can go to this side. Okay, so again, I like using the edge. Kind of like using the edge of the of here. All right, so maybe on this side we do this little. Oh, that's going to be kind of long, but. Let's put these two together. So again, I'm going to cut off that little edge, fussy cut a little bit. <laughs> yeah, you can print and you can stamp on your leftover tissues. Um, that's something else we'll show you in the napkin club. Oh, there's so many things we can do. So many things. Napkins are so versatile. So again, I just kind of come in here. I'm going to play around with the printable again here in just a minute, too. Okay. So let's get this part done. Because I do like the idea of the doors having some kind of words on them. <laughs> I make it look easy because it is easy. I'll teach you. I can teach you. Uh, and it will become easy for you, too. I promise. <laughs> Not only is it easy, it's just it's fun. It's just so fun. Okay, so let's pull this one kind of right here. I'm going to go ahead and put these down real quick. And this one, again, I'm just using, taking advantage of the straight line there. I'm going to use the plastic wrap for this one because it's easier sometimes to get into those grooves. I want to get into those grooves, the door grooves. I want to make sure that still stands out. So darling. So, so darling. Okay, let's go ahead and do another um, scallop over here. And then we'll play with the printable. And this time I'm going to try not to tear it. Got both plies off. Love that. <laughs> Why matte not purple? Just because I already have my brush out with the matte. And this truck, even though it's it's metal, it's been it's been kind of like powder coated. Um, when sometimes when manufacturers paint metal, it's like more of like a powder coating. Um, and so it has a little bit more grit, you know, tooth to it, I guess is the right word. Um, so I just, just, just am using my Mod Podge mat for this right now. But typically if it was, you know, a bigger type of like a galvanized metal um, project, something that hasn't been treated, coated, um, all of that, I'd be using the hard coat for sure. Okay, I'm going to go back to the printable. I'm going to find it here. Okay, so this printable has, let me cut this one off real quick. I like this one because it's got additional words. 
and stuff on it, right? So if I wanted to, I could put some of these words in place on my truck. Wherever I want to, like bouquets, that looks cute right there. Just going to kind of just, they're, they're arched and all the things. I'm just going to loosely, again, loosely cut around them, bubble around them. So because I didn't leave a ton of room, at least this way I can come in and I can put something down here. Bouquets. That's cute. <laughs> uh let's see i'm going to save the farm fresh flowers for somewhere else this one says bulbs so let's put this one on this side i'm going to have to hold it since it's wet over there Right, we can just put it, put little words all over the truck. Cute, cute, cute. Let me draw this one real quick so I can turn it back over. <laughs> uh, washing out your brushes, is that what y'all are talking about? Yeah, Dawn soap, warm Dawn soap. And y'all, if there's, there've been times when I like forget, like, you know, it's, it's late and I've done a class at night and I just, you know, you're tired. You just kind of forget. And then you go in the next morning and it's like, oh man, I left my brushes out. Um, if you get some brushes that are just really bad, like really bad, crusty, if you'll use Murphy's oil soap, Murphy's oil soap, and just let them sit in it a little bit. I have cleaned the crustiest, nastiest brushes with that. So that does work. Okay. So keep that in mind. That does work. Okay, so we have bouquets. We put bulbs on one side. I'm thinking the farm fresh flowers. Okay, y'all tell me, but I was kind of thinking maybe back here on the back, right here, or I could put the whole thing right here. That's kind of cute right there because it fits the whole thing. What do y'all think? What would you do? <laughs> or just this with the flowers. That's cute too. Okay, so tell me, um, tailgate or truck? Tailgate or truck? What do y'all think? Because I could do a different one up here. I could do spring has sprung up here or bloom and grow. Oh, I didn't think about that. Because look, we could do bloom and grow. Back here will fit completely or spring has sprung. The bloom and grow is kind of cute. That makes me want to put this on the tailgate. Let's put this on the tailgate. I don't know that I'm going to napkinize much inside of here just because that's where something would be sitting, right? That's where something would be sitting. Um, or I'd be, you know, I'd have a little spot for something to sit or be contained. Um, why did I do that before? Well, that's okay. I'll... I'll sand it off. I don't know why I did that before trimming it. Okay. There's a plastic sheet here. There we go. Oh, that is so cute. I'm so glad I picked up this little truck. I'm going to have to go back and try to get another one. All right, I'm going to dry this a little bit because I'm going to have to sand off those edges. And you never want to sand tissue or napkins if it's still wet. Okay, it could pull and it could um, pull and tear your napkin. So really important. This little step right here is really important. And I don't know if I even put... I don't think I did. Let me grab some sandpaper. I 
I'm going to put my little sanding block over here. is on the tailgate that's really cute and we could put some we can put a couple colorful flowers on there too so I kind of like the bloom and grow I think I'm going to go with bloom and grow on the back but you guys tell me if you like the other one better the other one does look kind of like a window right this one does look kind of like a window would that be cuter on the back of the truck like a little window there what would y'all do? <laughs> you got to get this little truck. <laughs> I don't know. I'm having trouble deciding. You guys help me. Help me decide while I cut. Bloom and grow or spring has sprung. It looks like a back window. I'm going to go with spring is spring. Kind of reminds me of a window for the truck. So I'm just trying to cut it down to where it will fit just so. I need to cut it down a little bit more. Okay, I'm cutting it right here at the edge of this flower. Okay, that's perfect. And cut this a little straighter. All right, here we go. Thank y'all for hanging out with me today for craft and chat. You guys in the napkin club, just, just to give you proof of all the things we've done, we've napkinized old globes. I have a globe over here I can show you. Um, I love doing old, again, repurposing, doing doing things, you know, turning something ordinary into something extraordinary. Um, clocks, I love to do old clocks. Um, the other thing uh, that's really a lot of fun is, um, oops, hang on. Um, the other thing that's really a lot of fun is we've even done lampshades. I mean, we've done <laughs> so many fun things. We're going to be doing a spring bag um, this Tuesday night. So if you do sign up to join us in the napkin club, we're going to put you in right away. Your payment's not going to go through until April 3rd. And your first shipment won't go, won't ship out until like April 5th, 6th um, or for the April bundle. It's called Nature Trail. It's really pretty. Um, but we're going to put you in the club right away. We want you to, to get involved and start making friends and just hanging out with us. Um, you'll learn a lot. That's really cute. That does look kind of like a, a window back there. I think that's really cute. You know, I said I would leave this plain, but should I? Should I leave it plain or should I make it a cute pattern back there? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. And in the beginning, I was going to run those scallops on this side, but I'm not going to now. I'm just going to leave that alone. Okay, so what should we do? Should we do anything up here on the front? Should we do anything else here? Um, it would be kind of cute to have a pattern in there. Let me look through my little stash napkins over here. See what I got. I got daisies. You all know how much I like daisies. I don't know how much I want to, if I want to keep covering it with more stuff. I don't know. I'm having trouble deciding now. I don't know. 
about the daisies. I think they're just too big. Something around the tire wheel maybe could be cute. Let's keep going. That's always the hard part is knowing when to stop. And then I'm going to show you some, a couple other things. Because uh, something else that I've done that I just absolutely love to do is terracotta pots. And because I want this to kind of have a spring feel to it again, it, it can, it can still feel Easter just depending on whatever I put in the truck, but I've done these little terracotta pots. Look how cute these are. <laughs> just painted the pots a color and then swiped over, just kind of dry brushed some white and then did these little terracotta pots because I'm thinking a cute little terracotta pot in the back of this truck is going to be adorable. Okay, let's, let's play a little more. So I've got another kind of a straight edge here. I'm wondering if we should put, if I should put something on those tire rims or is that just going to be more work, more trouble than, than it's worth. This is kind of cute, little flowers right there. I almost think it needs to be bigger. Bigger, bigger, bigger. Go big or go home, right? Butterflies would be cute. Yeah, I think I might have to have a pattern. I may have to go pull. Um, I may have to go grab another napkin to put in there. Okay, let's cut this one down. It's also okay to cut your flowers down and make them the size you need them to be. Cute. I'm just going to keep loading up flowers. I'm going to have this run kind of like it's kind of right on the wheel well. In case I do decide to do something else on that. And then I'm going to trim this leaf down a little bit. Sorry, y'all. This is where I start fussing. Just kind of fussing. I'll have to cut it down even more. There we go. my fingernail to kind of push up from that 
tire well. Is that what you call it, a tire well? It's going to be a cute flower truck. <laughs> cute, right? Okay, let's do something over here. Let's see. It looks like we need some yellow over there. Let's do one of these yellows. All right, y'all still with me? <laughs> A wheel well. Okay, wheel well. Just want to be sure I'm saying it right. So let's put this little flower. I'm not even going to worry about these leaves right here. I'm just going to do the, this yellow flower. And I think, did I have one more word left? Oh, I did. I have the word stems right here. Okay, let's don't forget that either. Stick that somewhere. So I'm going to take my fingernail again and just kind of press into that. And I'm going to have this go along that wheel well. Cute. That's cute. Okay, let me use this little word stems before I lose it. And I think we're almost done, y'all. Um, I can put something in the back of it here in a little bit. I don't want to take up all of y'all's time. Stems may be cute right there. <laughs> it's so cute. It's so, 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 so cute. Okay, a couple other things that I can do to this truck. Um, obviously, you can see that the, the, this, the little hubcaps right here are white. If I want to go in and do any kind of pin work, I can go in and do some pin work along here. Push that up a little bit. Um, I need to make sure that everything is dry and has a top coat on it. But I'm telling you, this is so cute. I'm going to bring back over the tray now, okay? I'm going to bring back over the tray. I am going to put a pattern in there. I think it just has to have it. Let's look at how pretty our tray turned out. Didn't it turn out so pretty? So let's try to imagine kind of how everything's going to look on here. Right? How cute. Our little spring truck. And I probably will flower it up even more. <laughs> I'll have to flower it up some more. And then if we want to put in our little terracotta pots around, we can, do you know? I mean, it just can be so cute. And terracotta pots don't always have to be standing. They could be uh, laid down if you want. Let's see how cute that is, the little pot in there. Maybe a couple of these, maybe some greenery, of course. We'll need some greenery. If we want it to look springy, I mean, uh, Eastery, we can bring back the cute little carrot, gardeny. <laughs> I think it's going to be so cute. I can't wait to get it all finished. So I'm going to keep adding flowers. I'm just going to keep adding flowers to this truck. And then um, I'm definitely going to add a pattern. I think it needs the pattern. Um, but I think this is going to be really, really cute when uh, we get ready to actually style this cute little tray, right? 
You can have it go either direction, right? However you want it to go. I think it's just perfect. This little tray is perfect for this truck. Okay. So let's do just a tiny bit of pin work. And then I'm going to keep working on the, the truck itself. And of course, I'll take pictures for you when it's all done. But I think if you're going to go for it, if you're going to have a flower truck, let's just go for it. <laughs> let's cover it with flowers everywhere. Um, I love our little sayings. I won't cover up any of our little sayings here. But up here, did I do a top coat on anything yet? I don't know if I did or not. Okay. I think I may have up here, but let me do this real quick. I just want to show you how... Um, how the pin work is really going to make it pop. What time is it? It's 12.08. I've already had you on here an hour. I, I'm sorry I don't work faster. <laughs> Let me dry this because I do want to show you a little bit of uh, just a, a little bit of pin work because I think pin work is really going to make this pop. But I'm going to cover this thing with flowers. Like I'm just going to have flowers everywhere. I'm not going to put them on the wheel wells. I'm going to leave those on their own because I think I might do a little pin work on those, the tires and things, but I think every, in the lights in the front, but I think everything else has got to have flowers. Okay. Yeah. I don't think I did a top coat up here either. So I'm going to, I'm just going to do this, dry this real quick so I can show you. <laughs> so I hope that this inspires you to just, Look at things. Look at things around your house. You might see something that's like, oh, my gosh, I could really give this new life with some napkin art. Right. It would be so much fun. If it's gotten kind of tired, you know, I think we all have things that just we get a little tired of. Or, you know, if you're a junker or a thrifter like me, you'll find things and you'll be like, you'll love the shape or the size and. Now you can kind of have some fun and alter it up. All right. Let's do a little bit of pen work. I love the little words. I love the little words around in places. In fact, I might even look on my other, on the, on the rest of this printable and just see if just whatever words, you know, that I can use kind of in, in spots. I love that bulbs, stems, bouquets. I think that's really, really cute. So if I'm going to do pen work, it has to have, this is important. It has to have a top coat. It has to be sealed. That napkin has to be sealed. Otherwise my ink is, it's going to try to absorb my ink and it's going to look real fuzzy. Okay. So it has to be sealed. So if I'm going to do pen work on something like this, I'm using a pit pen. Those are my favorite for napkin art. Actually, they're my favorite for just about everything. I'm just going to come in to start and just kind of do some wiggly lines. Nothing straight. We want it to look more organic. Let me bring my camera down. We want it to feel a little more organic. Do you see the black line that I've done so far here? Okay. And now I'm going to go back over that black line. And it's going to be kind of kind of bumpy. I mean, we're going over, over napkin art. And then I just want you to follow like things within um, within the flower. Like you can kind of kind of see where the little rings are within the flower. What I'm doing is called a double trace. I'm just kind of going back over my line, and I'm not trying to line everything up. Okay, but do you see how that just really pops? It's really going to make it pop and it's going to look very just cute and graphic and just super fun. If you want to do anything on the leaves, you can. These leaves are pretty dark, so it's not really going to show much on the leaves, but you could if it's a lighter leaf. Let's go over here and do this one. And again, wiggly is good. Wiggly is good. This is the one time when you don't have to worry about trying to do everything super straight. Um, if it helps you to kind of just do the first lines first. Okay, you can. Um, but I kind of like doing it all at the same time. I'm going to go ahead and do my double trace on these. I think the faster you go, the better this looks because you're not thinking. When we start thinking, sometimes that's where we really, you know, Sometimes we think too much and we 
look at things too hard. And we're just going to kind of come around in this flower. Got another little piece right here. Cute. Okay, do you see the difference? Like, look at this. Look at this. I mean, it really makes, to me, it just makes the world of difference. Also, if you have really good handwriting, you could just write in your own words on this if you want to. I mean, just a cute little, little, you know, scripty font or something if you have really good, good um, penmanship. But that is going to take it to like a whole nother level. Do you want anything to sparkle? If you want to sparkle anything, you can. That'll take it to another level, right? I did put, um, I did put, uh, I can feel it. I put Mod Podge over this. So let's look at these little small flowers here. Okay. So we have taken this little dollar store truck and we're just making it look like just the cutest little flower truck ever, right? Cute little spring flower truck. I'm gonna go back over my lines again, double trace. I'm using the small nib. If it's something really small and delicate, you might wanna go down to the extra small, but I wanna be sure y'all can see this. And then I'm just gonna do kind of squiggles around the center. But see how that just really pops? Pulls in the black from our um, our printables. So cute. <laughs> it's so cute, right? So cute. So I'm going to keep working on my truck, okay? I'm going to keep working on my truck, but I don't want to take up all of your time. I know your time is precious, and I want to be a good steward of your time. So I'm going to keep working on the truck. When you see it, it will have even more flowers. I'm just going to keep adding flowers. I'm going to keep the wheel wells um, on their own, and I'll, I'll show you because I think what I'm going to do is come in. I may come in and do, like I said, do a little pin work around here. I might even add some cute buttons inside the hubcap. Like I think something cute inside that hubcap would be really fun. A little button or something. <laughs> so I'm going to have a little bit of fun with that. But everywhere else, I'm going to be putting um, flowers. I'm not going to put flowers inside of the lights or the wheel rims. Everywhere else, though, I'm just going to start putting in flowers. And I'm definitely going to put a pattern back here in the bed of the truck. I got to go pick out a napkin for that. <laughs> okay. So tell me if you like it. I mean, it's going to be the cutest little thing. It's going to be so cute. So stay tuned for pictures. Okay. I wanna, I'll post pictures. And then I really would love for all of you to find a tray. Look around your house. Find something that you can treat as just a little, uh, a little spot to decorate in, right? We're gonna keep kind of our things together. It looks so much prettier than scattering everything all over, right? If we kind of keep them together in this kind of this style of container decorating, maybe we um, stack some things, maybe we put a little bit of lift. Um, you can always use blocks or, or other things, you know, to kind of stack on top of if you need to, books even. Um, but I think it's going to be really, really cute. I mean, it's going to be so cute, right? It's going to be so cute. So I will finish my truck. I'll get it all styled and I'll take some pictures for you guys. Okay. Yes. The little truck came from Dollar Tree. The little cut truck came from Dollar Tree. And some of you may not want to do as bold of flowers. You may just want a little smidgen of flowers here and there, but I'm going to just, I'm just going to go for it. <laughs> Okay. All right. Well, thank you for watching Craft and Chat today.